Welcome back to Ayaz Tech. In this video, I will show you that how you can create your own MySQL database by using Hostinger. So I already have an hosting with Hostinger. So you have to sign in first. After that, you will see this page from here. You have to click on the manage button of your hosting. And from here, you have to find the database section on the left sidebar. Click on that and here you will find the management button click on that and from there you will see the list of all of the mysql databases that you have created so far and now as we want to create a new database so we will just type the name of the new database here so let's do that and also here you will have to specify the username so you can use the same username as your database or you can use any anything else here so after that we need to specify the password so either you can provide your own password or you can let the hosting to generate a random a unique password for yourself so i have clicked on this button that created a new password for me so you have to copy this password and save it somewhere so that you could use it later and now i'm going to click on the create button so after that you will see that new database has been created and it has been displayed in the list of your current mysql databases here so now your database is created and it is ready to be used and now if you want to manage your database then there are multiple ways first method is that you just have to click on the enter php my admin if you click on that then it will uh, open a php my admin for you because it has created php my admin as well out of the box for you you don't have to install it it is available for you to be used so just open that and here you can see that this is your new database that has been created now you can just use it you can create your tables you can create columns you can edit your data and everything that can be done with the help of the php my admin you can do with the help of this so this is one method to to manage your ph uh, your mysql data and the second method is that maybe you want to uh, manage your data with the help of third party database management tools like table plus that i have here or you can use uh, the mysql workbench or maybe you want to uh, use your database remotely with the help of uh, any programming application like uh, you are you have a custom node.js application where you want to connect with this mysql database remotely from a different server for that you have to enable the remote mysql access so for, by default when you create a new database you cannot access this database remotely so in order to access this database remotely you have to enable that for that click on the remote mysql in the left sidebar and then from here you will see the list of all of the data databases that are being accessed remotely so in the in this section you have to specify uh, that which host want to use uh, this database so you can either specify a fixed ip address or if you think that you want to access it from anywhere then you can just click on the any host that would uh, uh, insert the percentage icon in the input that means that it will allow the connection from any host from any computer so this is less secure uh, if you have the fixed ip of your server from where you want to access this database then that is a better approach but if you don't have that yet then just uh, use this symbol and it will give you access remotely from anywhere so after that uh, in the field of database you have to select the database where you want to give that access so just select the latest database that we just created and click on the create button with that this access have been uh, added in the list and now you can access it remotely as well and another thing is that if uh, when you want to access this database remotely you also need to have the a host name and this is uh, the host name that you can use so now you have the host name you have the username password and database name that we created earlier you can now easily access it from anywhere 
so i hope that this video is useful for you please don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel and click on the bell icon if you want to get notified for all of my upcoming videos and also please like and share this video thanks for watching see you next time